Hey guys, it's Tom here, <clears throat> and today we're going to be starting my tutorial series called Tom's Toots. Today I'm showing you guys how to use Throzzy. Um, there are many different tutorials out there, but this is how I do it. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be putting a download link to the things I use in my tutorials that you may or may not have. Make sure to check the description. Um, to start, obviously, open Cinema 40. <laughs> If you don't have the plugin itself, that's in the um, download link too. But I'm sure if you're watching this, you'd have it. Okay, so the Lightroom that we're going to be using is called Nignog2, which is also in the download link. You don't have to use that, I just uh, think it looks good with Throzzy. Um, to start things off, you are gonna wanna obviously make your text, whatever you'd like. Today we'll do a tutorial, I'll be that guy. Mm -hmm. um, maybe change the font to something that you can actually read. So now that you have your text, it, oh fuck off. Okay, so if you didn't have Throzzy um, prior to this video, all you have to do is um, download the plugin and drag it into your plugins folder within Program Files Cinema 4D. But how you use it is you Control or Shift click your layers and go to Plugins and choose Throzzy. Go to the first uh, drop down and change the pieces from ranging from like 6 to 10 I like to use 7 or 8 but it looks good anyways and then just click break now and wait while we wait I want to thank you guys I think that I almost have 70 downloads on my GFX pack which is awesome that, that's great to me I don't know <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, make sure to comment what other tutorials I can do because I, I think I'm gonna do like one or two a week so far I only have a few ideas though so make sure to let me know what you want to see and I'll get it done definitely gonna have to do a rainbow background tutorial okay so now that your text is done you just exit the pop-up window and <clears throat> click Make sure all the X's are, arrow, are check marks. And um, while you have all the layers selected, you go to MoGraph, Effector, and then go down to Random Effector. See how everything just got like crazy broken. And this has been happening to me a lot lately. And if it happens to you guys, and say that, um, say it just stays like this when you bring the Random Effector in. You actually have to go to the Effectors tab within the layers and drag random into it. You can uh, shift click and drag it in too, so don't worry about that. Anyways, so go to your random Effectors layer and go to Effector. What I like to do, or lately what I've been doing, is turn the seed, like take seed and make it zero. It gives it like a horizontal cut. It's kind of cool. I like it. And then what I do is take fall off and put it to around 30, and um, or go to the fall off tab and it's weight scale. Let's just leave it as 100. And then you go back to your effector tab and bring that to about 15 or so. If you want it more broken, obviously you drag it more. If you want it less, less. Let's do 15. 15 looks good. Oh, and another thing. See how there's like these gray lines? That kind of looks bad. So if you just open up one of your uh, Throzzy layers, like they all look the same, and you double click on the gray material here, you can just change that color and like black or something will look good. You can even make it like the color the blue, but 
uh, whatever it's up to you and that actually changes it on all of the layers so you don't have to individually change it, it looks good okay uh, let's render it out see what it looks like what the fuck Well, maybe not. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm just have Down syndrome. Um, I just forgot to save it to my desktop. Should turn out wonderful. Oh yeah. I think my next tutorial will be on the ripple text effect. I know tons of people have been doing that tutorial and people are getting mad, but I've gotten a request for it, so might as well do it. Um, it's going to be a lot similar to Trone Designs, though, because that's where I learned it, and honestly, I just learned how to do it like a week ago. So. Okay, so there's our uh, finished product. Let's go take a look. Looks pretty nice. I like how it turns out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what to do in the future. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.